what it is what's good what's good what's good what's good what's good okay let me let me shift some things around hold on let me shift some things around so as you can see me good hold on who's in here let's talk for a little bit Royce Freeman, how y'all feeling? Your big Dow 604 was good. Oh, what's about to be <laughs> popping? You on one run? I ain't even do nothing. Why I'm on run? Tyron Church C plus signing. Okay, y'all hit the like button as y'all come in. If you don't mind, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, hit the like button as y'all come in. Let me let me do a little a little housekeeping as y'all come in. Hold on. What's good with y'all though? How y'all feeling? Hold on. Doing a little maintenance. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Good. We good. We good. We good. We good. Seventy two. Eighty. Eighty people. Hit the like button as you come in. Let's talk. Let's talk, Mr. Freeman. Let me get the chat back right. Had to fix something with the stream. You know what I'm saying? Let me see what I missed. Because I, I was I was fixing something. My fault. Who snuck in here? Dare Hughes, Tyron Church, Brandon Cook. What's good? What's good? What's good? Um, hold on, let me do a little maintenance. Um, Michael Clark, Droku, my guy, my guy, Star Girl, what's up? Stray Manning, Trey Manning, sorry, Sergeant Thomas, what's good? So, Sammy, Eddie Russell, what's good? Danny Savage, what's going on? <laughs> Danny Savage, guru. Um, John Cofield, what's up, Rome? How you feeling about the new signing, Royce Freeman? Going to lead us to the promised land. See, y'all, y'all got jokes already, Darnell Lamar. Um, not a fan of the signing. I mean, it ain't, it ain't, I'm not about to, hey, 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 I'm not about to come in here and tell y'all Royce Freeman is next up or nothing. It's not what I'm here to do, Trey Manning, but it is a signing and I do report on the Cowboys for y'all, at least get my opinions on it. So it's worth talking about because we have signed nobody. Um, so it's a signing. It's another one-year deal, which is what we've been doing all offseason, which is why we can't attract anyone because no one wants to sign for one year. Um, but, you know, y'all heard me. How many of y'all heard my video earlier? How many of y'all heard my video earlier today? 104 people, 55 likes. Y'all hit the like button for me. How many of y'all heard me earlier today when I was like, why do they keep lying to us? Yes, I would rather have had Zeke. But I think this, the first thing I'll say, and pardon me, I need a haircut, but that is what it is. The first thing I'll say is that this signing, I feel like puts a nail in the coffin on the Zeke thing. Do y'all agree? <laughs> Kelvin Hicks, that's the funny of the night. That is the funny of the night. Kelvin said, so it's positive Rome time. I'm pinning that to the top. That's hilarious. I wouldn't say it's positive Rome time quite yet. That might be next week, but he's not horrible. Is that fair? Peter Cobb said he had to turn it off. I understand, man. Look, man, I'm sorry I haven't been able to be positive all off season, or I wasn't saying what you wanted to hear. <laughs> Brandy Mahoney, who we get? A running back that was drafted by the Broncos. OK, um, last year he played for the Rams. You will remember you will remember Royce Freeman last year because when we was blowing the Rams out. He got a lot of carries. He got a lot of carries last year when we were blowing them out. Um, stats wise for Royce Freeman. Um, let me see. 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 Last year, Royce rushed for 77 carries for 319 yards. You do the math on that. 77 carries for 319 yards. What's that average? Somebody give me a yardage average. It's not horrible. 
It's not groundbreaking. Joe Gonzalez was good. It's not groundbreaking. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Y'all want me to lie to y'all? Yeah. <laughs> 4.1 yards of carry is not, not that bad. Thank you, TJ Combo, because I was not doing that math. I was about to bad math that. That is D.A. Lee. D.A. Lee, that's it. This is Ronald Jones 2.0. Royce Freeman might not even make this roster. Right now we have Rico Dowdle. Deuce Vaughn. Royce Freeman. This is called the draft went left. We got to sign um, Dalvin Cook or Zeke Elliott insurance. Does that make sense? Hit that like button for me. It's 144 people in here. This is called the draft went left. Yes or no? I need the agreements. The draft went left. We didn't get a back for whatever reason. It just fell a certain way. We need to call Dalvin Cook or Zeke Elliott and run with this entire room. We're just going to have a hodgepodge room. That's what this is. It's insurance. That's what the calling of Zeke Elliott would be, insurance. For everybody that was mad about me, I want to sign Zeke earlier this year. So Royce Freeman is called the draft went left insurance. That's what it is. I see y'all agreeing with me. Katrina Kiss, appreciate you. I see you put the number in there too. Y'all math, don't be math in that quick off the top of my head. Um, Blake A, hit that like button. Y'all hear Blake A, talk, Blake A talking? Go hit that like button. Um, don't do Deuce like that. Dude, I think Deuce Vaughn can have a 100% a role in this offense if they would just give it to him. But they won't give it to him because we stupid. They won't give it to him because we stupid. This means our management went left. Our management is terrible. Our management is terrible. We almost had 100 likes, too. We can hit, We can get 10 more likes. I'm going to drink some water. No, this ain't an alcoholic beverage. Mr. Rome got to work tomorrow. So we're going to keep it light. <laughs> Lucas Herbert, I'm here like I never left. What's good? Jeanette Rogers, what's going on with you? What's going on with you? Uh, my two cents. We might win nine games this year, Rome. Hey. I got us winning bare minimum 10. Dak Prescott and the current roster is good enough to get us 10. But that's another. We'll argue about records and stuff when the schedule releases. I ain't going to do that to y'all right now. I'm not. I'm not. You know, I jumped in here because we signed someone. I know I do. I, I did a video earlier. I've been doing two videos a day lately. You know why? You know why? Can I talk to y'all for a second? You know, and Kelvin Hicks, I hope you don't mind me putting that at the top. So it's positive time, Rome. I wouldn't say it's quite positive time yet, but we're getting there. We we we're gonna have something definitely to be positive about next week. I'm speaking into existence. I'm gonna just say we're gonna kill the draft. We're gonna kill the draft. That's gonna be our saving grace for the year because I can't tell y'all nothing else positive right now. I just can't. I can't. I can't. I don't want a lot of y'all. Season to start ne- does not start next week. Plenty of time to make some moves. Blake A, I gr- I agree, but I want you to know this one hundred percent. Blake A, all the I know y'all y'all messing with me. It's three likes away from or uh, two likes away from one hundred. Come on, y'all. Don't don't be like that. I know my brother's over at the final word about to be killing it as we speak, but I had to jump in to get my two cents. I got my own platform. I got to get my two cents. No disrespect to my bros. Um, I won't step on their toes too long, but um, the season does not start next week. But I don't think I do not think that the Cowboys are going to give anybody more than a one year deal. They're doing this whole let's wait and see for next year thing. That's bad. Everybody thinking rebuild or retool or whatever you want to call it. But a lot of things in next year. See, Lamb's contract. It's over. Dak Prescott over. Mike is still on the contract. Uh, Mike McCarthy over Dan, or Mike Zimmer over like every, a lot of contracts will end next year. So that's why they're not giving people more than two year deal. It's kind of like if we got to start over, we want to give the next coach a clean slate. It's frustrating. Lola Cowboys was good. <laughs> well, get over to the final word. We listen. I, hey, man. Hey, man. 
I hear you, Trey. Don't be aggressive. I don't want no smoke. Love's beauty. What's good with you? I think I spoke to Joe already. Um, I hope they sell the team, Rome. They're not going to sell the team, unfortunately, Katrina. They're not. They're just not. They make too much money up the Cowboys. Mrs. Rome, that Jones are called a clown show. They are a clown show. You know. But now that we got a good 177 people watching, let me ask you all again. Actually, I'll put a poll up. Let's let's make it easier. I'll put a poll up. Let's let's do something. Um, let's do Royce Freeman. Hold on. You know. All right, that'll work. I'll put the poll up. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about Royce. Y'all let me know. Let's just see. <laughs> I'm curious. I'm curious. We'll just let that vote for a little bit and we'll come back to it. Um I thought it was tonight, Chris Davis. I'm just assuming my, my brothers always go live on um this time. So maybe it's not tonight, you know. I ain't hit boss up, um, so I don't know the exact schedule, but I, I can hold the fort down if they not. Sergeant Thomas, what's good? My CFT family. You already know what it is. Cartel in the building. Mike Jenks, 704, you good? Your favorite <laughs> you 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 got a favorite NBA team? Hey, let's see if um people that's been rocking me for a long time remember what I told them. What's my favorite NBA team, y'all? Because I'm pretty sure they're assuming it's the, it's, the, it's the Mavericks. It's not the Mavericks. Let's see if y'all remember. Aha. Not the Lakers. Oh, no, 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 and no. Y'all got it. It's the Rockets. I am a Rockets fan. Diehard Rockets fan. That's that's my squad. I know it don't line up right with that. Hey, look, when a king was getting killing it, that's that's when I chose the Rockets. It is what it is, and I've been a Rockets fan ever since. But I like my young team. The Rockets is decent. Hundred ninety people in here, man. Let's get it to hundred fifty likes. DB with the first super chat of the night. Appreciate you. This is so frustrating, bro. What the heck is our front office doing? We're all in though. We're not all in. Did you hear Stephen Jones earlier today? Stephen Jones earlier today basically said our interpretation of all in is not his and jerry's and it's okay for us to have our own interpretation but their interpretation of all in is what they've been doing basically what they've been doing <laughs> brandy mahoney don't brandy mahoney don't insult my lakers hey i'm sorry no hate i just i can't be a late i'm already i got enough slander on my life you a you a g o g to be a Lakers fan and a Cowboys fan, because it's a it's a hard life dealing with just Cowboys haters. You got to deal with Lakers haters too. I commend you. I salute you. I just couldn't do it. My Rockets is so bad. We under the radar. I don't have to deal with hate. We just over here in the corner by ourselves. We ain't winning. We ain't making the playoffs. We we coming though. We coming though. Bulls fan here. I can't. I ain't mad at the Bulls. I ain't mad. Let's check on our poll. We got eighty votes. We got yes is in the lead. No, no is in the lead. My fault. Yes with 36%. No with 37%. Hell no with 28%. Look at that. 83 votes. Y'all keep voting. Let's see where it lands at. All that poll lets me know is that Cowboys Nation is not excited about that. Because if you were excited, it would have been like 90-10. And I put hell no because I'm not really excited either. I think Royce Freeman is... uh. A, a rotational back at best. Um, he runs hard. I will say this. I watched some clips where I got on here. He runs hard. He finishes runs. He runs behind his pads. Um, coming out of the draft, they said, he, you know, he, he was multifaceted, that he can he, he catch out of the backfield. I get it. You know, I get it. Not too old, but not too young. I look at it as like a camp running back. And, let's, and if he shows something, we'll keep him. If he doesn't, we'll cut him. It's a, it's a very cuttable contract. Very, very cuttable contract. That's how I look at it. I don't look at it really more than that. 
Um, I'm not about to lie to y'all. Like, Yo, man, this is crazy because it's not. It's not. You can find some good highlights of every NFL player. So, yes, you can go find highlights, but he is not the game changer. I ain't going to lie to you. Our game changer is waiting somewhere next week on the draft board. And before I got on, Michael Gelkin said, 100%, this does not change the Cowboys' plans of drafting a running back next week. It does not change the plans. Young boy JD, my dog, what's good with you? Want to thank you for all everything, still recovering from everything going on, man. You know you're still in our prayers, dog. So, again, I'm sorry, Roma Cowboys Nation. Um, TYSM, I don't know what that means. Thank you so much. All right, yeah, yeah. Everyone love you all. Appreciate you, man. Y'all show some love to young boy JD. I appreciate you. Hold your head, man. You and our prayers. It's all good. It's all good. You know, and I, I could use that as a transition piece. I put in there, how y'all feel about this? And I'll do, I'm working on my little stream yard layout so I can do another mock draft. Maybe I could do another mock draft this week, maybe on Thursday if y'all open to it. You know what I'm saying? If y'all open to it, maybe I can sneak a mock draft in this Thursday because y'all know I'm not going to be streaming on Saturday. If y'all open to it, we can do that. Um, D and Lee, what's good? D and Lee, what's good? Lord Nova, what's going on? What's going on? Um, but how y'all feel about drafting weapons, receiver or running back in the first three picks? I wasn't on that. I wasn't on that, but I'm back on that. I want to know yes or no. How y'all feel about drafting weapons? You know? I see the poll. I'll end the poll for now. Danny Savage draft guru trenches. I'm not, I'm not big trenches no more. I'm gonna explain why in a second. I want to see what everybody's saying. I'm seeing you got the double trenches in there. I feel you. Uh, running back, please. 100 percent running back. And I want to, I want a receiver. I want one of these nice receivers, man. Team trade back. I'm still team trade back because I want that that that'll get you your trenches, but I'm not going trenches first three picks. I'm tired of going trenches. That's what Dallas do does every year. Pop quiz. When was the last time we drafted a weapon? In the first round. In the first two rounds. When was the last time we drafted a, a high caliber, high value weapon in the first three, uh, the first two rounds? Not round three, first two rounds. CD. That was what year? It's Tuesday. Okay. All right, Siri. Siri just got excited. Calm down. CD. In 2020, um, what what's what's this year? 2020. Hey, all right, I'm gonna turn the phone off. Siri is active, ain't she? There. It's been that's exactly right, Nate Artist. We drafted Ezekiel Elliott, and let's get it to 180 likes because we got 156 likes, 190 people in here. We drafted in the last eight years. In the last eight years, we've drafted top-tier weapons twice in the first two rounds. I don't want to hear nothing about the Cowboys be putting their, their, their draft resources behind weapons. We drafted C.D. Lamb in 2020. It's 2024. We drafted Ezekiel in 2016. And before somebody say, well, we traded for Amari Cooper. We did trade for Amari Cooper. That's not a top-tier weapon. We didn't, and, and we did not draft him or... No, I'm not even bringing up James Washington. Nope. We we traded for Amari Cooper in 2018. I know it don't feel like that. That was six years ago. Like, Dak Prescott has had a number one offense how many times in the last eight years? I know the number. Y'all let me know the number. 
He's led the league in scoring how many times? Somebody said none. Stop being disrespectful. Statistically, Dean Lee, come on now. Three out of the last eight years. Three out of the last eight years. Number one offense. Two with Kellen Moore, one with Mike, Mark Mike McCarthy. Right? He's only had two top top tier weapons drafted in the last eight years. And one of them came in with him. I might have missed a year. Michael Clark says four. Danny Savage, you win and lose up front. Well, we've been putting all kind of resources in the up front. So what's wrong? We draft linemen in the first round. We draft D tackles in the first round. What we haven't done since Dak has been a quarterback is go and give him top-tier weaponry. We've been giving him leftover weaponry. We got C.D. Lamb on accident. That wasn't even the plan. We ain't expect him to fall. There's some corn balls in here. Y'all point them out. I'll, I'll handle them. Gallup was a third rounder. That don't count. It don't count. Hit the like button for me. Philosophy. It is a philosophy. That's fine. My point is, when are we going to get some top-tier weapons? This draft has heat at weapon. Heat. I am captain team trade back. Y'all been hearing me. Right? Haven't y'all? I've been trade back no matter what. I'm still team trade back. But if Brian Thomas Jr. is there, I'm sticking and picking. I'm taking Brian Thomas Jr. if he's there. Are y'all? Or are y'all not familiar? Brian Thomas Jr. could be the next Randy Moss. He's 6'4 and like 220. Keon Coleman, I would take him in the second round, but I would definitely take T Keon Coleman. Or I would trade back and get Keon Coleman at like 32. Yes, I would. I'll take Keon Coleman in the first. I, I, I'll just I would I would get draft capital first for Keon. I don't think Keon's going before Brian Thomas. But yes, I'm I'm back. Shout out to my boy Foots the King. Shout out to my boy Outlaw Cowboy on Twitter. Um, it's it's some, it's some people that's team team weaponry with me. I'm team weaponry. I just want to know who else is with me. I'm down to start this draft off. Tell me this, y'all. Tell me this right now. Can I paint a picture for y'all? Y'all mind me painting a picture? I just want to ask y'all a question. I love Keon Coleman. Excellent receiver. Professional. I take Xavier Worthy, too. And not Mitchell. I'll take him, too. I'll take Polk. I'll take Xavier Leggett. It's some weapons. I'll take Lad McConkey. Tell me y'all know who Lad McConkey is from Georgia. Beast, footwork, route running, technician. Let me paint a picture for you. Next week's draft happens, okay? Let me paint a picture for you. Y'all hit that like button for me. Brandon Comey, what's good? It comes to 24. They do the little do 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 I don't I don't got the music. The Cowboys have traded with the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs trade up. Right? Now Brian Thomas Jr. is gone before y'all be like, well, what about Brian Thomas Jr.? He's gone. We trade back to 32. Right? With the 32nd pick, the Cowboys select Keon Coleman. How you going to feel? The lunatic was good. How you going to feel? You mad? I'm not going to be mad. You mad? The Cowboys select Keon. Yes or no? 
You're mad. Yeah, I said Rockets. Somebody came in mad late. Rockets? Yeah, that's my team. I'm excited. I am excited, but I want to know how y'all feel. Darnell Lamar, I love uh, Darnell Lamar, excited. Big Chank, I love it. Happy to see Keon and pick. Let's go. I don't even know. Oh, he's TJ Combo said 76ers. Okay, where, where, where? That's your team. I ain't know what you're talking about. Um, no, no, I'm a big, I'm a big proponent, pesky citizen. You go get your guy, BPA. So I'm assuming that Brian Thomas is there. If Brian Thomas is there, 24, I take him. I don't trade back. But if, if he's not there, I trade back. I get an extra pick. I get my fourth back. I get Keon Coleman. All right. I'm team trade back, not team trade Dak. See, Evil E trying to be funny. You try to get muted. I don't even like your jokes. You know I'm team trade back. Trade team trade Dak. You trying to be funny. I would take Xavier Leggett too, because he reminds me of Des Bryant. I'm gonna keep it real. And he got the best accent in the draft. Of course, I would take Marvin Harrison Jr. But he, come on, now. there's no way he's falling. Let's let's not be crazy. Um, um, <laughs> he said, "I thought you said no." I ain't say that. Stop playing. <laughs> um, second round roll around. Um, pick fifty six. Do 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 do. All right, right. The music started. The Dallas Cowboys select. Right, Dallas Cowboys select Jonathan Brooks or Trey Benson. Y'all take y'all pick. That's the big battle. So the first two picks, we just went. We let the trenches be what they is. We load in the clip. We went receiver, running back. Are you mad? Because I know there's a lot of fake GMs out there. Like, nah, I build the trenches. You build inside out. Are you mad? Because I'm throwing a party. I might pop champagne. I might pop a bottle of champagne if we get two weapons back to back. I just, look, look, look. Y'all know it's funny? <laughs> Y'all know it's funny? I started talking weapons and 60 people left the stream. They mad at me. I don't care. I don't care if I look up and there's one person in the stream. I don't care. Apparently, either that or the stream's messed up. One or the other. Am I, can y'all see me clearly? Can y'all hear me? That's a lot of people to leave, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Somebody said, not Brooks. I'm with you. You can have your battle. I want a weapon. If it ain't Keon Coleman, if it ain't Brian Thomas, I want Xavier Leggett. Javon Baker. Polk. I just want one. Lad McConkey. I just want one of these things. One of them receivers. If it ain't Jalen Brooks, I want Jalen Wright. I want Trey Benson. I saw a workout video of um, Braylon Allen the other day. He looked like he he ready. And Braylon Allen out here working out in cowboy shorts trying to throw hints. Because it's other, yo. You want me to tell you why, my, my main reason why I want a weapon? Seriously? Have y'all ever looked at what the other teams in the conference are working with? I know I put Brandon Cooks on the thumbnail. And shout out to Brandon Cooks, excellent veteran, still in great shape, still can tilt the field, still does his thing. Let's go down the weapons of the other teams. Look at Detroit's weaponry. With Montgomery and Gibbs. I forgot Detroit's receivers. I forgot um, Jameson Williamson and the other dude. Detroit got some some weapons. 
And they got a good tight end. Saint, oh, St. Brown. My fault. Amara St. Brown. They not slouching. Jared Goff looked good because he got some weapons. And they got a good tight end. Don't they? The Porter. Minnesota Vikings got Justin Jefferson, Addison, and Hawkinson. Vikings got some tools. Do I need to name the San Francisco 49ers weapons? Do I? Brock Purdy out there looking like Joe Montana because everybody nice. Now, they might lose Ayuk, but they'll retool. They'll probably draft one of these receivers we're going to ignore. Because it's all funny. We take trenches, and then you look up, and Keon Coleman put on the 49ers jersey. Then you're going to be all butthurt. It ain't going to be fun no more. Can we get it to 100, 200 likes? We at 187. McCaffrey, Debo, Ayuk. They loaded. Y'all want to talk about our rival? Y'all want to keep it real for a second? I ain't even say George Kittle neither. Y'all want to talk about our rival? You want to keep it real for a second? I'm just talking about weapons. I'm not talking about quarterbacks. A.J. Brown is not a bad receiver. He's just not. Devontae Smith, great receiver. Now, it drops off a cliff after that. But they still have signed multiple receivers. So they got A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard, great tight end, Saquon Barkley. That's what their quarterback has to work with. I don't know what Captain Taki talking about. Um, I'm not a Devontae Smith fan. That's fine. I'm not trying to tell you that he's the best receiver in the league. I'm saying, what are they giving their quarterback to work with? You think he's a bad receiver? Because that's just lying. Like, we ain't going to just lie. Are we going to lie? Can we beat the Eagles? Do we beat the Eagles? Yes. That's another conversation. That's different. That is different. Let's not lie. Like, come on, y'all. I'm not trying to say that the Eagles going to beat the brakes off us. We beat them every year, especially in Dallas. Some years we sweep them. That's fine. That's a different conversation. I'm saying that they they load it. They give their quarterback weapons. We give Dak CeeDee Lamb, Jake Ferguson, and a possible. I'm not saying Cooks is bad. I'm saying Cooks is an older receiver. He's still very fast, still very technician-ish, but he's not. No one's afraid of Cooks. They don't game plan for Cooks. That's just real. Do you want me to lie? I'm keeping it funky. Y'all y'all want me to just lie. Now, Kellen Moore is a terrible um, coordinator. That's, that's very correct. But we're talking weapons. We're not talking coordinators. We're talking weapons. Green Bay just beat the anti-lock brakes off us. You trying to say their weapons is trash? Because I just visually saw their weapons whoop our ass. So... They weapons trash, and they just brought in Jacobs from the Raiders. I'm just stating facts because Dak Prescott got Royce Freeman, Deuce Vaughn, and Rico Dowdle. Ooh. And y'all wonder why I want to draft weapons in the first two rounds. Royce Freeman... Rico Dowdle and Deuce Vaughn with a sprinkle of Hunter Lipke. Come on, dog. Like, it's foul. We might have bottom six, seventh um, weapons in the in. Who's better? Williams, Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup. Who got better weapons, Rams or the Cowboys? Because the Rams definitely got a better running back. 
I got C.D. Lamb over both of their receivers, but that's one. They got two. What you want me to do? I'm not about to. See, what y'all want me to do is lie to myself about Brandon Cooks and say he's a dump. I, had, I got a whole season of Brandon Cooks. He's a great three. He's an okay two. That's a fact. That's not me being mean. He's older. His best years are probably behind him. Situationally, Brandon Cooks dominates. But it's situationally. I need somebody that they have to game plan for. You get me to you bring Brian Thomas Jr. in here. You have to game plan for him. And he makes CD Lamb's jobs easier. A good receiver makes the running game easier. A uh, O-line doesn't just make the running game easier. When you have to defend the pass like that, Dak Prescott got a top five quick release in the league. That's that's a fact. Tell me I'm lying. Y'all want to play a fun game? Dak Prescott had the number one offense last year. Guess where our pass blocking was ranked? You about to, now you about to, because y'all acting like everything is everything. Guess where our pass blocking was ranked last year? We had a lot of things that was top in the league. It would oh big Dallas it was, uh, big Dallas eight six zero four. That's right, bottom half of the league in pass blocking. That was with Tyron Smith and Zach Martin and an all pro two all three all pro three all pro offensive linemen. We had a bottom third offensive line when it comes to pass blocking, and we had a. Great receiver, amazing receiver in C.D. Lamb, a OK2, an up-and-coming tight end, and we were able to have the number one offense in the league and a hobbled Michael Gallup. Give that man some weapons so we can dominate because if you take C.D. Lamb away, if C.D. Lamb gets the flu next year, I'm not going to say he gets hurt before anybody gets mad at me. C.D. Lamb gets the flu next year, and he has to sit out a week. Or sprained ankle, some some minor. Who I don't care how good our offensive line is. Who we running off the, our offense through passing wise? Jake Ferguson. I just want to know. Katrina Kiss, we're screwed. Then and one hundred percent, we're screwed. Jake Ferguson is amazing. He's not ready to carry an entire offense. He's not quite Travis Kelsey. I know he's headed that way, but he ain't there yet. Y'all tripping. Fred Allen, what's good with you? As great as y'all want this offensive line to be, we I've seen Dak Prescott last year dominate. Second in MVP voting. Led the league in touchdowns. Second team all pro with the 23rd ranked pass off or pass um, blocking O-line. Dak Prescott will make it work. Chumi Doga played in like seven games last year. Six or seven games. TJ, Bla TJ Bass played a lot last year. Brock Hoffman played last year. The offensive line was out there doing um, the Cupid shuffle, moving everybody around. 100%. Brandon Comey, hit the like button. Appreciate you, man. Give him a viable weapon. Because when teams get smart and say, we're not giving you C.D. Lamb. Either Dak Prescott gets aggravated and forces, forces it to C.D. Lamb. Do y'all remember what that looked like in a Green Bay game? I'm going to just force it to C.D. I don't care. And then they bracket him and they undercut the pass because they're like, he's going to force it because he has nowhere else to go. We had a hobbled Michael Gallup. Shout out to Michael Gallup. I'm sorry. And we had Brandon Cooks. That they didn't, they're not shading coverage to Brandon Cooks. I'm sorry.
we need a weapon. I, yo, y'all got me for like two, three weeks. I was, I was over there on side of like, yo, man, maybe we should go with center and then trade back. Now, if we get a good center or a great player there, like we get Will Frazier or Jackson Powers Johnson, I'm not going to be mad. But their next pick better be a weapon. If we go O line first, I want a receiver second. Running back got to wait. Y'all hear me? If we go O line first, I want a receiver second. That's a fact. We do got to protect Dak. Last year, our our pass. Oh, one handed bandit. What's going with you? That's my dog. Um, last year we had the twenty third ranked pass blocking offensive line, and Dak had the number one offense in the league and led the league in touchdowns. You give Dak, you give Dak another viable receiver. He'll throw for forty five touchdowns, at least forty. And that and that that receiver will make it easier to run the ball. When you that worried about the passing game, it'll be easier to run the ball. Dak Prescott has a top five quick off a uh, uh, top five release in the game right now, as far as passing game. A lot of those sacks would happen, but he gets the ball out quick enough. I'm not saying don't draft no offensive line. I'm saying BPA. And if BPA is Brian Thomas Jr., Keon Coleman, Xavier Leggett, Lad McConkey, go get me my weapon. I'm not playing with y'all. I'm not playing with y'all. And then the next round, go get me my running back. And then we can start talking trenches. Because I feel like we can find a, a decent trenches player later in the draft. Receivers after round two going to fall off a cliff. That's all I'm saying. Like I said, if y'all just jumped in here, first of all, hit the like button. Like I said earlier in the stream, if you just jumped in the stream, answer me this question. The last time the Cowboys drafted a top-tier receiver was four years ago, in 2020. The last time we drafted a top-tier weapon other than that was in 2016, eight years ago. And if you want to say, but we traded for Amari Cooper. That was six years ago. We don't be giving Dak Prescott extra weaponry. We draft everything else in the first two rounds. And just say, Dak, here, work with whatever. It's time to give my dog a weapon. Amari Cooper, 2018. Zeke Elliott, 2016. CD Lamb, 2020. Can my dog get a weapon? If we wait another year, that means it's going to be five years since he got a legitimate weapon. Come on, y'all. What other quarterbacks dealing with that long of a drought of drafting any type of offensive weaponry? And if somebody say, well, we drafted Luke Schoolmaker, I'll punch a hole in my monitor. Let's get, let's load up. I like Jalen Polk. And for the people that hate Dak Prescott, how many of y'all hate Dak Prescott? Somebody, somebody speak, speak up. How many of y'all hate? I know some people in there hate Dak Prescott. Let me know. Speak up. Raise your hands. <laughs> What's good, Isen? What's good with the cues? If you hate Dak Prescott, you go get a weapon so your next quarterback at least got some weapons because he's going to need them. If you team Trey Lance or team random quarterback next year, you go get weapons so that that's easier on them. Because if you got a mediocre quarterback that's developing, you're going to at least need weapons for that. So I got the answer for number, everybody. Weapons, the right answer for Dak is the right answer for a random, mysterious quarterback in the future, which I hate. Go get me a weapon and stop playing with me. I 
And I'll say this. Cowboys Nation is on the ropes right now. They need something to cling to. That's real. But I'll wrap up with this because I ain't going to hold y'all too late. I jumped in here off the humble. Listen. Listen. Appreciate y'all. All the loves, all the likes, the shares. It's 216 likes, 86 people. Mad people jumped out of here, and that's fine. I appreciate the love. I just want to say out. Um, Royce Freeman is an okay running back. He's just insurance for if the draft goes left, we don't get no other backs, and they go sign Zeke or, or, or Dalvin Cook and just let the four backs battle it out. Um, Michael Gelkin said that this does not prevent the Cowboys from drafting a running back. I believe that. This is probably a, a Ronald Jones 2.0 type signing, and that's fine. Um, I want a weapon because I think not only do I think the Cowboys deserve it, I think it'll help the fan base. It'll help the offense. And I really do believe that worst case scenario in the first three rounds, you can get you can get quality trench talent, but we need to load up this offense because we have one of the weakest offensive arsenals as far as just after C.D. Lamb and Jake Ferguson, it drops off a cliff. And then other quarterbacks is rolling out. There were five or six weapons, and it just ain't right. This ain't right. You know what I'm saying? What's good with you, OT Josh? But it's 62 people. I guess I guess the whole chat left. So it's six of us. Y'all do me a favor. I'm going to jump over here. Um, Y'all run over to the final word if they if they live right now i don't know if they live right now is the final word live right now somebody let me know all three of y'all that's left because apparently the whole chat just left i don't know what happened 37 i don't did it did it freeze i ain't never seen it drop that low <laughs> literally like a hundred people left so all 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 three of us just left <laughs> Y'all, yeah, all three of y'all go over to the final word and say it's a raid. It's, it's a small raid. It's, it's just three of us. But we're going to go over there and watch that. I just wanted to jump in here and get my thoughts on Royce Freeman. I'll be live again on Thursday. We'll do a, a couple mock drafts. Y'all want to do that? All 13 of y'all that's left mock draft Thursday? Yeah, Chris Smith. I don't know what happened. It dropped quick, didn't it? It's, it's one person here. <laughs> Chris Smith, like, yo, what happened? I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? All of y'all that's still in here, I appreciate y'all. I'll holler at y'all. Peace. I don't know what happened.